Born on the 16th of May, 1999, I got baptized as Modestus Hiwete Andoa. My parents are Themisto Clez Modestus Andoa and Naemi Dewenda Paulus. They got married on the 20th December, 1998. Growing up was amazing because I was raised up in the village which gave me a lot of opportunities be it on farming or culture learning. They say it takes a village to raise a child. That's the truth. In the village, every elder is your parent. We were beaten by any elder if we mess up. I started my nursery school way back in 2002 when I was just three years old. I stayed there for four years. This nursery was a big tree in the middle of the open Oshana pans. We scrambled for the shade during summer and cornered the sun during winter. All winds and rains for those four years touched my fresh. After school and most holidays, I enjoyed looking after the goats. But as I grew, I started also looking after our family donkeys and cattle. After enduring my four years in the nursery school, I started my grade one at nearby school known as Anamulenge. If I can recall, I was one of the unwise and stalwart kids there. I fall, I rise, I make mistakes, I live, I learn, I have been hurt, but I'm alive. I am human, and I'm not perfect, but I am thankful. Elementary School Years At this stage in life my parents moved me to a better school. I do regard this school as the main extravagant tool in my education and spiritual timeline. Known as St. Michael's Roman Catholic Primary School, situated 60 kilometers from Owajo towards Kamanyab. I recall my first step over the red line. I was discombobulated as the nature and atmosphere changed along the way, not knowing that the hardest climb leads to the best view. I adapted so fast and learned the Christianity values and morals and much more vernaculars. I happened to interact with so many people from different ethnic groups. This showed me how democratically free our country is and how cosmopolitic its societies were. I do remember the likes of Mr. Capitango, Sister Felista, Mr. Sani Chatumba, Sister Credula, Sister Alfemia, and the list goes on. In short, I am thankful for all the golden memories. I managed to take part in various activities such as helping around the school garden, taking part in soccer, debate club, and yong wag. I was known as one of the disciplined learners. Initially there were memories that I can't forget, and they let me cry when I think of them such as consumption of toothpaste to supplement our diets, thankful for those days. The High School Years Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Beautiful pictures are developed from negatives. In the dark room so you see darkness in your life, be reassured that a beautiful picture is being prepared. My educational timeline is filled with religious schools. Afterward, I moved to St. Peter Roman Catholic High School, well known as Canisianum whereby I was a committed learner who had been progressing well throughout my junior grades. However, I was one of the niggling boys at the school. On so many occasions, I was forced to get my parents for misbehaving. Nevertheless, I was still among the best three performing learners in my classroom year after year. Being a village boy motivated me love agriculture as a subject with my whole heart. Going from home to school each day, which was around about 8 kilometers per day, gave me courage to seize the opportunity of studying and be a better man. There were moments when I had to go with an empty stomach to school write test and even exams with it. The authentication remains that I never went with lunchbox school ever since high school because I was born within the circle of poverty, but it will be sin if I die in it. Even though there were a lot factors that affected me such as emotion, I did not complain to anyone because I was fighting for my future. I stayed loyal to my future because I wanted to be a veterinarian, so I had to study hard and harder. Anything and everything I wanted to do, I made it happen, and that's amazing to me. I always stayed loyal to my dreams. Life has knocked me down a few times. It showed me things I never wanted to see. I experienced sadness and failure, but one thing for sure. I always get up. My achievements in high school, junior phase grade 8 to 10. 
Best Learner Agriculture, Grade 10, Overall in the Whole School, Best Learner in Religious and Moral Education, Grade 8, Reaching School Achievement with 41 Points, Grade 10, JSSC, in Top 3 Constantly, The Journey of Sweat and Tears, Senior Grades, 11 to 12. They say, you can't light the candle on both ends, I strongly agree with this. During my tenure years as senior scholar, my points were dropping so profligately, I was no longer an A student, but an E student. It was awkward and miserable. Being last or second last was my new hobby. Mainly, the causes were peer pressure and too much time wasting on sport. However, I did not complain because the future was in my hands. Therefore, I had to rearrange my life because grade 12 was approaching. I started ignoring my can't and made them my I can. I remember grabbing the award for best improved learner, which showed me encouragement. My first semester, I managed to get 33 points. So I had to work logically hard again because I wanted I better life, better liberty. However, in my final exam, I managed to get 39 points. I got them because I wanted to touch and see success in one way or the other way. I made sure that I made my doubters to become my believers. And it worked out because even my own principal did not believe in me. Therefore, who are you? Why can't you achieve it or go beyond? No one was born genius. Panic can cause confusion. Believe in yourself and your faith. Achievements in senior phase, grade 11 to 12. Best improved learner, grade 11. Best learner, grade 12. In geography, the only student with an A star at the national level. 39 points only with one subjects on high level. Life after high school. I was aiming at doing veterinary medicine at UNAM, but however, to my surprise, I did not get accepted. I moved to NUST. I managed to get enrolled in BTEC Electronic Engineering, but it was not my call, so I quit. I moved on to agriculture at the same institution as it was my call. While there I applied for numerous bursaries lucky enough I got one from NAM Power, in the field of mechanical engineering, fitting and turning. People think I am smart, but that's not the fact it just because I stay with problems longer. The facts remains that God helps the ones that are willing. It is because of this great man above that I am fully standing on my two feet gallant enough. Without him, nothing is possible. My future lies within him through my personal hard work. My future is not fixed but my dreams remain fixed. The hardest climb leads to the best view. During my school holidays, I used to go and look after my family's livestock, help with cultivating of the field and repairing the fence of the farm. I was raised as other boys, but in lenient way. We mostly used our donkey cart as our transport, which escorted me to the bus when going back to school. Years have passed by and me being away from my family for almost four months before going back home. However, on the other side of the coin, those hard times made me into a better man. I believed in the theory of no pain, no gain. So I always read two to three sentence before I call it day, to enrich my mind. I fear no failure because failure is the stepping way toward success. So be yourself, keep pushing until you achieve what you want. Don't be afraid to share your story. It could be the key that unlocks someone else's prison. Discipline as the fundamental to realization. A mentor of mine once said, a house can only carry out its mandate if there is discipline, and where there is no discipline, there can be no real progress. In general discipline being the influential aspect in every men's life. We have to follow it at all times, if we are at workplaces, or entertaining places. It is the most significant aspect in the society we dwell in. It gives a lot of great opportunities, right away to go ahead, to learn new things in life, to experience more within less time. Whereas lack of discipline causes a lot of confusion and disorder in most African cultures, it leads to what is well termed as bad luck. We all know that success depend on two aspects which are hard work and commitment which are the fountain of discipline. It takes so much energy and time to build your reputation, but it only take a single second to destroy it. Remember your roots not to get lost. Discipline will take you to places, 
Modestus H. Andoa.